Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be learning about how to determine our Azure compliance for our own business. So, to begin with that, in this lesson, we may have to consolidate the previous few of the lectures, learnings that we have learned uh, so far. So, to begin with that, let's start from the trust center. So, we know that trust center, uh, inside the trust center, we have the Microsoft Service Trust Portal. So, now, we need to know learn more about the trust service trust portal uh, within this uh, service trust portal you can get the more information about office 365 dynamics 365 and also the microsoft azure cloud now so when we look at this uh, if you are the new customer you can you know uh, have an account and then uh, then once you have the account you can actually go to service trust portal and you would be you know getting the more information about your data for example if you have any of these subscriptions for example if you have the office 365 or dynamics 365 as you you would be you know getting that specific portal specific information now within this if you just look for the complaints manager you have the two options one is the complaints manager can be viewed in the classic as well as in a preview mode also the coming back to the trusted documents we talked about the audit reports we can download um, whatever the specific like ISO or SOC or NIST or FedRAM or GDPR and also we talked about the industry specific regions let's say let's say if I go back to my service trust I should be able to go to the industries and regions I have here uh, different things for example here a there's a policy specific to the financial services let's take this and uh, we try to if you're trying to achieve maybe one of this policy let's say we want it uh, for Singapore specific uh, because maybe let's take one of the live example as we are based out maybe a Singapore uh, based company and we are working on a financial services example take an example and then what we do is we would you know simply double click on this so that would actually open the trust center and offers here uh, to download that specific checklist let's say if you are uh, looking for a detailed checklist on Microsoft Azure or maybe uh, you are might be you know looking into a uh, complaint checklist for financial institutions institutions within the Singapore or uh, you can you know if you simply click on here it actually takes to the trust center and automatically downloads a document if you see here it's trying to you know download one of the document guide and we can you know, check that specific document how it looks like and the policies uh, that needs to be followed let's say this is a file got downloaded and we can navigate and we would be able to view uh, for example here how do you more general Singaporean privacy laws apply to this use case of financial institutes so this is where it talks about the you know how we can you know implement and the, uh, how we can remediate those um, actions let's say if you have a question this and uh, what are the uh, how Microsoft is actually implementing the controls or procedures so that it's safe for the financial institutes you can also have the access for the blueprints uh, which is uh, which is useful for implementing and containing the blueprint guidance for the government or financial or health or retail different services which we talked about it and also for the trust center you can you know check for the trust center specific and which is talking about more about the security compliance and the privacy in a Microsoft cloud in one place uh, we can you know view act on it on the from the trust center and also you can add uh, these things which is a uh, which we talked about the compliance manager for the uh, classic or the preview which is in a preview mode which also it talks about um, overall complaint specific scoring and other things in fact you know we did actually open here if you can you know look at here um, this is how it looks like the managed controls for example we, we actually looked into the previous lectures about the complaints manager um, specific the controls and actionable items and uh, if it is anything to be you know, implemented or control ID or articles that would help us to follow those uh, patterns to assess and also we can act on it so you can check out here how it looks like the within the dashboard and the complaint score so that you can provide this coding information to your auditor that makes it very easy for us to uh, get it more complaint since we have all almost all the ready-made checklist and the procedures are available within the within the portals